Hello friends, Yossi here. Today we're going to talk about the Toronto real estate market for April 2019. I'm going to show you some really, really cool listings that are on right now. I'm going to tell you a bit about the market, what's going on, can I give you an overview and we're going to jump into a bit of numbers first. Okay, so um, this is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Realtor Mortgage Agent. We search Realty Corp, fantastic company, I tell you every time. Uh, Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, let's dive right into it. Uh, this morning I posted this beautiful um, one bedroom unit at the Harlow 608 Richmond Street. This is uh, available on MLS. And uh, if you click here, you go to yossi.searchrealty.co, which is my uh, MLS version of the site. And uh, here we go. Uh, it's going to uh, my own uh, website first, yossicapital.com. So that's the post that I did today. All this information is publicly available on MLS and on my site. You can see all the information here. The gallery is uh, posted uh, fully same gallery that you'll see on MLS. It's a beautiful, beautiful unit. I really love it. Uh, the location of 608 Richmond is just east of Bathurst on the north side. All the floor plans are here, every single one. Okay, and if you want, you click here, you get some more listings. Uh, this unit is really fantastic, and currently uh, the price on this thing is $504,000 something, 505, which is fantastic. Very good value. If you can find a good one bedroom in Toronto today in one of the new designer buildings and pay about half a million dollars, about 500, give or take, that is a very good deal because I think that the next jump will be to the 550 and 600 in no time. You're probably going to see it this year, okay? Um, just across the street, the uh, Bjork Ingle, the Big King West by, uh, by the Vancouver guys, by Ian Gillespie and West. Um, they're charging seven hundred fifty thousand dollars to eight hundred fifty thousand for five hundred square feet. So you have fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred a foot. Four eighty one University just came out on sale March twenty seventh or twenty eighth. So it's like ten days ago. Um, sixteen fifty a foot. So that's like Yorkville prices, and now you're gonna start see it everywhere. So pay attention. Half a million for one bedroom, beautiful one bedroom. There's a video too. Good deal. Um, if you want to see, uh, just click here, Connors for Sale 608 Richmond. That's going to take you to the interface. And it's going to pull everything's for sale at the moment at 608. So 5049 is the asking price for 608 Richmond for this unit I just showed you. There's a bunch of other units 6699, 5999, 8699. That's what's available right now. There's another one with no picture. Um, probably added, it probably just got added, added now, so the pictures will come, and that's a larger unit, I assume. Okay, so that's that. Very, very good. Um, if you're looking at uh, the King West, there's a link for you right here. King West, that's the same link when you go to my main website, urbanrealtytoronto.com. When you scroll all the way down and you go to the King West, that's going to be the same link, okay, and that's going to pull. Uh, all the King West, everything that has the King West, uh, in this case the area, you can see the map uh, on the system right here. And it's already pre-filtered for you, so it's a very fast, effective search uh, that I did for you. Okay, so there's a million eighty-eight at 95 Bathurst, unit 223, and boom, you're right in there. Um, the interface was recently redesigned. Those are great units. I, I sold one of those uh, for 600 and something a few years ago. So they've obviously done really well. Look at this, a really nice two-story, kind of loft, really beautiful. That's a really cool building, uh, 615-95 bathers, okay? Uh, what else I got for you here? Uh, this is my website, yorkvilleluxuryrealestate.com. On this website, I usually put uh, properties over a million, sometimes a lot over a million. Uh, five Toronto condos investing you can buy now. And these are screen captures from my website. Uh, okay, let's see, it's going to load uh, 3D of Fashion House here. So that's King West. And here you got a penthouse condo. This is a Simon sale at uh, King Blue, 355 King West will be the north building. This one right here, close to us. Okay, 10 Morrison, they're just behind us. That's the fashion district condos or lofts, as it's called, 1278. Um, that's a one bedroom Thompson for 545. So these are good prices. You see, like the one bedrooms, which is the bread and butter of the real estate business. Um, um, you know, they, they're, they're going to be about 450 square feet in this building, 500 square feet of fashion house. The older the building, the larger the unit, and the price is about 500000 This one's asking a little more, but all in all, you know, I'm not sure if it's sold already. I haven't checked. Maybe it's still on the market. 
but that's the around price that you're going to pay for now, 500 to 550 for the one bedroom. But if you go to the Uber design in new buildings like 41 University, uh, even 48 across the street is an assignment, uh, you're going to be paying 12 to 1500 a foot, okay? 1600 a foot in some cases. So this is about 11, I believe. Okay, this is a uh, Queen West with a triangle. The coffee time used to be for many years. That's a lovely uh, building by scale, 1181 Queen West. That's in pre-construction. If you want some information about that, just send me an email or call me. I'll, I have the uh, numbers for you. 38th Avenue, the Prince Arthur, 8.1 million. Yeah, baby, that's Yorkville for you, okay? So lots and lots of information here, and that's kind of the fun of Yorkville that I kind of try to keep, like, the fun. They may be a little more expensive, but they're, they're, they're grand. Yeah, they're grand. Uh, this is an assignment at 609 Avenue. Um, there's a whole bunch of them here, but I have one now, which is uh, uh, just under 900 square feet corner unit. It, uh, it, it's not this one. It's this one, I believe. It's one of these guys here. I, I, I have to check my notes, uh, but it's a two-bedroom corner unit uh, with a parking locker. That'll, that'll run you just in the 950 range, okay? Um, and you're in Yorkville. So Yorkville, you know, commands the highest prices in the downtown. Okay, great. Uh, let's move on. Uh, what's going on on Twitter? So I've been using Twitter, um, I hope, very effectively. And anything that I post at any of my sites, YouTube, um, even Instagram, if I can connect it, comes to Twitter. And then Twitter will give you, you know, if there's a new video, it will show you this image and, and just post a link to the new video. Um, or give you the link to the post of the new video created on one of the websites because I got it programmatically now. Um, here's 48 University Avenue. So that's an assignment. Um, in this case, it's taking you to 0.2 homes where I posted this assignment. So this is real. There's my picture right here. I'm the listing agent, Yossi Kaplan, 6495 for this 488 University Avenue one bedroom condo assignment. That's a really nice place. These places will be just fantastic. Um, very, very good investment. Uh, some videos here, the Airbnb video. So everything shows up on a Twitter. Uh, here's some more. That's, that's the same unit, I believe, that I showed you earlier. Um, and anything that comes on Twitter, because it's very fast, I can also do it from my phone. Here I did a screen capture. I wanted to show you that the townhouse, the townhomes, um, are rising in value very, very quickly. And they're the number one category of uh, investment criteria that I would call between the, these four here. Detached, semi, townhouse, condo. So the townhouses, and I've been talking about townhouses and making posts about townhouses, they are very, very good and effective um, way because I think a lot of people that can't afford the home and do not want the home with all the complications that comes with it. It's old, you gotta fix it, you know, carrying costs are very high. Um, you think condo fees, you know, condo fees are really very little. They're like 60 cents a foot, something like that. But the con you know, the home, you need to change your roof, that's $30,000 right away. Uh, the water comes in the basement, that's $30,000 right away. Condo, you just don't have these kind of expenses. You just know what's going on. I mean, worse comes to worse, you know, uh, you change a dishwasher, big deal. Okay, uh, that's an article I put, uh, five fantastic young editing condos for sale from 500 to 2 million, so that goes... The link will take you to one of the sites, basically, and it'll open the article for you when you can read and get more information and more listings. In this case, this is taking us to yossikelner.com. Hope you like it. It's a new site I'm playing with. Uh, 101 Erskine. There's a townhome, 2 million even. Very nice. Same build as the penthouse available, 1.3. Um, 2191 Young, and so on. And like lots and lots and lots of stuff going on here. Okay, another thing really important that I should probably tell everyone is that the market's hot. When I say hot, I mean there's just not enough listings. If you look at the numbers uh, from Treb here, uh, the amount of listings is actually down. Um, but the amount of sales is the same. So last year we had 7188 7, sales, and this year uh, for March we had the same number, one less, over 7,000. Basically the exact same amount. But the price is uh, the price is more or less the same, uh, slightly up, slightly slightly up. But there's we have increasing number of sales, but less supply. So that keeps the price pushed up. There's just not enough stuff. Okay, we need more homes. I've been saying that for years and years. We need more homes. Canada needs a million homes. Toronto GTA needs probably half a million homes. 
homes and Toronto itself could use quarter million homes and that will more or less solve for now uh, the problem that they have that the supply is just not enough now the immigration quotas for Canada are increasing every year by 10 to 30 thousand more so about 300,000 coming in uh, there's obviously just like in the states maybe not as many as they do but we do have um, undocumented immigration basically just cross the border or show up or maybe the tourists come in and just never never leave okay the overstay it's called overstay so I, I don't have the numbers on these but everyone needs the point is everyone needs a place to sleep everyone needs a bed everyone needs a roof it doesn't matter if you have uh, Canadian papers or not you still need to sleep somewhere so we need more homes more people coming plus because of, of our environment and Canada is doing good in the tech, not so good in the real estate in terms of supply, um, more jobs, more expensive jobs, people with more money, like kind of like San Francisco, maybe not on that scale, but you know, um, some young kid finishes college and then he takes a, a programming course or UI course or whatever, then they start with salaries of $80,000 $80, starting salaries and they're in their 20s, they can afford a condo to buy or to rent. Um, and you know, if suddenly a company uh, does well and hires two or three or five hundred uh, computer kids, they need two or three or five hundred condos to live in. You know, maybe they're roommate, but still, they need hundreds and hundreds. Uh, just here on King, 620 King, Shopify is opening a huge store in Indigo. So that's going to be, I think, 3,000 people walking into that building every day. They need a place to live, they need a place to stay, they need all the services that the city can give them so as the city grows we need more beds we need more homes we need more city services on and on and on so that's what you're seeing okay that there's other reasons too but I think these are the major reasons and right here in that little box sales and average price by major home type March 2019 that's where the story is and this month's story is about the townhouses okay that's the sales now the price is more or less the same in Toronto that the condo apartments are always doing well actually in 905 they even a little better which is great okay the homes are still slightly declining because they went up so high they just need to come back a little bit but the condos are coming up so the gap is narrowing nonetheless still not enough homes we need more homes so let's go over some homes let's see what we got so uh, when you go to urbanrealtytoronto.com or any of my sites now at the at the bottom right of the footer I put these uh, links so you want to know what's going on in the entertainment district just hit that and it's going to take you there's a redirect it's going to redirect your page which shows you the listings for that area and in this case we're looking at entertainment district so you know it'll bring you whatever you see in entertainment district okay uh, 15 Beverly that's an amazing building it's just uh, up from Queen um, so take a look at that so there's a lot of good stuff on the market right now this is a lovely unit absolutely beautiful got a little pool they got a bit of height 920 okay so that's what you're looking at uh, does it say the exact square footage no but it says between 900 and 1000 square feet square feet so two bedroom two baths that's all I get here okay so about a thousand about a thousand a foot and that's what you're looking at a thousand a foot which is a good price considering that the new construction is coming at 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1800 a foot. Um, another one that I had opened here from earlier uh, was that uh, 95 Bathurst 1088. Um, look at this unit. It's really cool. <laughs> that, now the price is 1088. That's not a low, that's, you know, that's a big price on the second floor, but that's what you get for it. Okay, so that's 1184. Uh, a foot, uh, sorry, 1184 square feet, so just under a uh, thousand a foot. Under a thousand a foot. Um, why are they pricing like this? Well, two reasons. The one reason is because um, it's a it's a lower floor. It's got parking too. Um, the second reason is maybe they're looking for a higher price. But a lot of what hap a lot of uh, sellers now, what they do is they price their units, the MLS units, the resale units at a lower price than what they think less than a thousand a foot and then they set up a date and everyone's sending their offers on that date and I've done a bunch I've been participating in a bunch of these uh, bids and multiple offers for all these condos okay multiple offers so when you come to uh, your offer know your prices be pre-approved look at the status certificate beforehand and really clear any conditions you may have so you can just put your best offer right in because it's going to be a firm offer okay 
uh, even to go to the point where some uh, buyers even come up with a check in hand and they basically bring a certified check for fifty thousand dollars then they can just write or they they pre-write the uh, the seller's uh, broker name in trust okay that's how it's done that's how you get the unit uh, 609 Avenue I told you about that corner unit uh, 959 with a parking Twitter okay Yossi Kaplan Young and Eglinton I showed you that um, that's 48 University that's I think one of my best listings right now it's 544 square feet so it's just under 1200 the foot but it's a fantastic unit on a high floor in this building nothing can beat it absolutely nothing I think you'll be able to get four or five thousand dollars in rent here when it's properly furnished. I'm not talking IKEA, just nice and modern, and then serve the doctors uh, that work in the hospitals up the street because the doctors work 12-hour shift or sometimes 24, sometimes 30-hour shift. You know, just want a home to crash. That's all they want to do. Just want to go home to crash. So it's got to be nice, clean for them. That's a good uh, solution. Okay. Um, this is back to the King West search. There's a lot of beautiful stuff these days. And I'm really happy with it. And yes, the prices are higher and getting higher. But you see a lot of million dollar condos right now. Okay, you see a lot of million dollar condos right now. You see a lot of unique spaces. Uh, these are two units, 101 and 102. This is a really, really nice. Uh, so it'll be down here, okay, on the main floor. Really beautiful. Uh, originally three commercial units converted into 1,200 square feet. So that's really nice. So that's also about 1,000 a foot, okay? Very, very nice. What else I got for you here? Uh, that's the page for 608, uh, 608 Richmond. So you can see here what's available. I'm really loving this new interface. It's so crisp. The photo quality is really good. This is a loft style building. Okay, you can see that. It's concrete everywhere. If you like it, great. If not, you know, you can finish it. That's okay too. So there's a, a bunch of uh, units in this building available. Okay, next I want to show you is I want to show you my uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Please subscribe, like, and share. If you don't like, give me the don't like because that helps too. And on this um, channel, and I had two, but I only got one now left, okay, because I want to focus on this one. I basically show you like the best stuff I got, okay? So these videos are a little bit of everything. They're a little bit of opportunity to buy. They could be new construction, pre-construction, reconstruction, assignment, uh, market, uh, rental guarantee deals, you name it, all kinds of stuff. You know, we love Brantford too, we love Hamilton, we love all these areas that are upcoming now because the high price is pushing everyone out of the city. But if you can, you should still invest in Toronto because Toronto is amazing. Uh, the next thing is when you go to trebhome.com, I want to show you how I got to where I got before. When you go to market stats and uh, God send them blessing. This look at this interface. What is this? Uh, market watch here. Overview. So there you go. It's gonna give you a bit. It's gonna show you what's going on in the overview. There's really no change. No change with what's going on. Um, we're a little bit up on the on the price here. A little bit up on the price. So seasonally adjusted, 3.1. If you average, you know, so they comparing season to season. Uh, here that includes the winter you know or the dead seasons uh the holidays uh so that's okay uh the normal rate for real estate i would say is probably three four five percent a year we've been looking at um over 20 percent appreciation in the last three years per year uh so that's gone very very fast and what you're going to see now is the good quality units at the good buildings still getting those prices but those who are overpricing are basically coming back to their senses and say, okay, you know, if I'm an older building and the unit doesn't have balcony or parking and it's on the back, it's a lower floor and there's no view, it's probably not worth a thousand a foot. But if I'm up there on the penthouse in a beautiful building, people will pay a thousand and eleven and twelve. Okay, so we start to see this adjustment in the market where the building which are really good are they just keep pushing up. There's nothing you can do about it because Everyone wants them, and especially the buildings which are two, three hundred units. You know, this is what I like. I like those uh, middle-sized buildings, up to say three hundred fifty units, uh, because those give you amazing ability um, to make good investments if you can find the right unit, the right floor plan. Which you know, the, the the boutique buildings will have better plans too. They're just well done usually, and if you find one of these gems and you just need a couple, uh, you're doing really good. Okay. And the new listings are down by 5.1%, so there's more pressure on the market 
to find a good unit. And when there is, you see multiple bids. Like I've been to, I've been to three multiple bids just last week. Okay, so but that's it. When they when there's a good unit, people want it because people know. You know, the buyers are not stupid, the sellers are not stupid, and it's an open market. So they put the unit up. Maybe they put it less than a thousand a foot, and then put say it you know, on uh, April the twenty second. Come uh, send your bids. And they may say we uh, reserve or not reserve the right for bully offers, which means you can send your offer before. And then if you do, they may look at it, maybe not. Maybe they use it to gauge you in the market, or maybe they take it. You never know, right? That's, that's the game. That's the psychology, which I really, really love. So if you're in a situation where you're going to go and make like a, a difficult decision or a very specific buy, give me a shout. I'm sure I can help you. And I'll talk to you on the phone first. And just kind of a uh, very friendly uh, chit-chat. That's how I do it because that's how I like and uh, first of all, get along with everyone you work with. That's the most important thing. And then you do the business because, you know, we have the skills, we have the knowledge, we have the technology, we have everything we need uh, to make very successful real estate transactions. So I enjoy this. This is the actual page from Market Watch uh, that I've, I've shown you earlier, but it goes down very deeply. So if you like the numbers, you'd like to dig in, uh, just go nuts. Just needs to load here, but it's really endless. I, You know, once in a while I look at it, but after a while it's like, like it changes every month. The, the story is right here in the first page. That's the main story right here. So focus here, okay? All right. Um, that is, um, if you take just the first page year over year, then that's what you get here. And you can show, and, and I've shown you this one before. They start tracking in 73, and then last year they tracked is 2018, of course. And what you can see is, is um, it's going about a year or two down on the average price of the Toronto with, with the TREB, the Toronto Real Estate Board, where they track. But I guarantee you guys, the downtown King West are always up because, you know, it's the scarcity. There's just not enough supply and everyone wants to be here. So if you're here, you're doing great. And if you're not here, get in today because tomorrow is going to be more difficult. Now, if you go to a B area or a C area or a D area, no, they're going to come up much slower. And if they came up too fast, maybe they'll catch up again. That's what you see at the end of the graph here. Okay, that's fine too. That's how it is. All right. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you today. A couple more interesting listings. Um, this is 505 Richmond, which is the waterworks. Uh, this unit, uh, I imagine that the developer posted it. Uh, this building did really, and I'll find out for you if you're interested. This building did really, really well. So the Ciccone Simone interior, it's got the big park up front. It's just north of us right here. It's kind of really halfway between uh, King and Queen. So uh, this building and Rush condos will uh, eventually face each other. Okay, this is on the south side of Richmond and Rush on the north side of Richmond. And they're kind of halfway between King and Queen. Uh, very nice. Uh, and you can see the prices here too. This is a 500 square feet unit, give or take, at a price tag of $700,000. Okay, so the prices uh, of these units are increasing because the developer says, you know, uh, people want this thing, great, but I can now charge more because everyone around me charges more. So if you bought this originally, you would have paid maybe 500, you know, maybe a thousand, maybe even less than 500 for the unit, but now you're going to pay more for it. So the, the newer buildings, they command higher prices. So if you're an investor looking for the glitziest and park your money for long term, you should definitely consider uh, these new generation of buildings because they're just like outdo everything else before them. But if you are a budget conscious investor where cash flow is more important to you, or you don't want to invest so much, or you don't want to have such long term um, um, horizon, or you just want to go live there, then maybe a resale unit is better for you because they will be slightly cheaper. Now, in the old days, that thing was reversed where the um, new construction, you know, it had kind of question mark about it, I'm not sure about it. Uh, so they will be cheaper and the resale will be more expensive. These days it's reversed, okay? Because as a society, as a culture, we've become used to that new construction is good because, you know, we have very good uh, rules and uh, understanding how the industry works. And we haven't had a lot of problems with new construction in the downtown, pretty much none. So if you go with the good developers, with the developers with the heavy pockets, with the big pockets, They've been proven, uh, you know, I really like working with developers, uh, families that have been doing this for, you know, second or third generation. Um, they just like to get really good projects done. Uh, there's the, there are developers, corporate-style developers, and they do a really, really good job. 
because it's a big company, some of them are traded, they have a lot of investors, you know, it's not just one person. And they go and they hire the best and the brightest they can. I mean, these people are, you know, Ivy grads, Richard Ivy School of Business grads, you name it. Like, they know the job. They really hire good people, great engineers, um, business people, architects, everything. But sometimes, you know, there's a project, usually it'll be at a more uh, startup, beginner developer that is not hiring the best and the brightest because he doesn't know them or can't afford them or she, um, or maybe they know someone who knows someone, and that could be really, really good or maybe less good. I don't want to judge them. I think it's best thing to do is to look at each and every project by itself to see what it can give you, okay? Um, so... A few quick listings here. I already prepared them, so I might as well show you. This is really cool. This is A50 Richmond. There's like five or six of these in a row. They're beautiful, in my opinion. I really like this uh, townhome design. Again, you can see from the window, that's across the street. That's a part of Richmond that's really narrow and quiet, and that's basically very close to Trinity Bellwoods Park. So if you want to spend uh, 118, I believe it was, on a townhome house, in a fantastic area, you know, this is it. Look at this. I absolutely love these houses. They're very nice. Um, 620 King, which is Kingly. Now, mind you, the residential address will actually have an Ad it's going to have an Adelaide uh, street address, but we don't know it yet, or they haven't published. But here is a one, uh, two bedroom, two bath, a little balcony facing east, I can tell from here. Okay, uh, that's some of the renders. The building's not finished, uh, but it looks pretty nice to me. There it is from a different uh, direction. That's it looking uh, west. So the east will be the side facing us on the right side. You, you're you not going to have any view because that large, uh, this the same building actually, is blocking you. So note that, okay? So um, if you are interested in this building, I'll go and check the view first because the east facing unit is not going to have the best view. Uh, but it may actually be really good once you're in there, but it's hard to tell from the floor plan. Uh, this is 1,078 square feet, so uh, 1.2 million they're asking here. Uh, it's got parking, okay. So they're just over a million, um, just, just over a thousand a foot, King West. Very, very nice, large unit, looks really good to me. What I got here, there's a, a new fashion house listing. That's unit 705 at 560 King. That's the King building, 824.9. Okay, that's 800 square feet unit with a large balcony, 170 square feet gas hookup. So that is cool. Uh, and I see a parking spot here. All right, so let's uh, look inside their house for a second here. That's the main room. That is a nice room. Okay, so where are we facing here? I think that's facing east. Okay, that's facing east, very nice. Uh, and that's the balcony right there. That's a lovely unit, actually. Oh, yeah, corner unit. Very, very nice. Look at that. Very, very nice unit. Oh, yeah. I really like this one. Okay, that's a nice unit. That's Fashion House. There you go. It does, uh, the balcony does face east. And uh, I believe that the corner will be facing north. So what you see in the window here, uh, that's probably north facing. What you see there is probably 10 Morrison, okay? But it's on a corner, so it gets lots of light. It's really beautiful. Fantastic unit. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that, okay? So that's Fashion House, A24.9 for this unit. So that's a fair price, you know? That's 1000 a foot. That's a really nice price. Um, 505, I think I showed you this one. Yeah. 55 Stewart, that's the original Thompson building, Penthouse 1025. Uh, these are really nice units. I've done a lot of work at the at the uh, Thompson, uh, all floors, all levels. This is a beautiful unit. It's well-maintained, well-kept. Look at this. Nice high ceilings. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a grand. Uh, that is south-facing because you're looking here south. That's uh, City Place down there. So large balcony, fantastic. Okay, so that's that is a good, good unit. I like it. Yeah, very, very nice, Thompson. Very, very nice. And this will run you 1.749. Uh, 
1,700 square feet plus a large outdoor space, <coughs> one parking, so a thousand bucks a foot. All right, pretty good. That's it. <laughs> You'll see out. That's it.